since 1948. The National Wrestling Alliance has historically been the largest sanctioning body in professional wrestling. Welcome in to a loud and proud sawmill. It's another huge night here on NWA SAW. I have Nick Nitros. I have Jason James. I am merely Michael Graham. What a night it's going to be. What a time it is right now in SAW. Jason, Reno Riggins continues to run rough shot. Well, you know, Michael, this development between Reno Riggins and Kevin Weatherby has everyone here at the Sawmill astonished. Tonight, we hope to get some more answers as this new relationship begins to build. And Nick, it's always a time on the Nick Nitros segment. I'll tell you what, week after week, the Nitro Door segment's growing. You'll have to stay right here, Michael Graham. And in the main event, retribution is the word as Wolfie D gets his hands on the man known as the King. Wolfie returns tonight, and you know, Michael, it was King Shane Williams that cost Wolfie D a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. Tonight, Wolfie is out for revenge. The Wolf is on the prowl. So, Jason, if you're ready, and Nick, if you're ready, and these people are ready, there's only one thing left to say. It's showtime! And so start now! in the sawmill this is michael graham along with jason james and uh the reaction to kevin weatherby a little different this week no doubt here in the sawmill as he takes on justin granberry in this one. Oh, here we go well it seems like the tide could be turning and this very well could be the reason right here we hear the music of the man who struck the deal with kevin weatherby i said last week kevin weatherby shook the hand of the devil himself and this man is well he's the devil himself yeah. And obviously not a fan favorite as he immediately goes to his new man, Kevin Weatherby, and uh, gets right in his ear. Preston Weatherby right next to him. Have you or a loved one been arrested and are facing criminal charges? There's just one name you need to know. Attorney Brian Lee Nash. Whether it's a citation, DUI, assault, drugs, or immigration matter, take action now. We'll fight for your rights and freedom. If you're facing misdemeanor or felony charges in state or federal court, don't wait. The sooner we get involved, the better the chances are for a successful outcome. Consultations are free. Will you be? Call 615-628-7555 today. 628-7555 today. Up and I can't believe he is uh, somehow falling in the path of the R and R Corporation as well. I, I, I'm beyond words. Well, and that any, I mean, let's talk about the politics of this for just a moment. If we, oh, excuse oh, me. Yeah. What well, is that? We're, we're being joined by here by Reno, Reno Riggins, Michael Graham, Jason James. Like I said, in, in episodes past. Kevin Weatherby, I will take this kid to the top. I like taking uh, just a piece of coal and turning it into a diamond. Right now, this young kid is a piece of coal. Soon, he's going to be a diamond with gold around the waist. Well, uh, he sounds confident. very confident. Very confident. I mean, his man here, TJ, TJ Weatherby, the father of these two men, of course, and he has been berated by Reno Riggins over and over, both in person, online. Uh, it's been, oh, my goodness. Nice. I understand well, also, Michael, as we go for a pen attempt here from Granberry, hook of the uh, leg, and, and now we should, uh, we should get to the point of our referee, yeah. Kurt Heron, who has been obviously and known in the pocket of one Reno Riggins. Look at him suddenly little, get to that. Yeah. yeah. Little quicker on that one. I haven't seen someone count that slow since Frank Hungwell Morrell. All uh, right, just a one count out of that. I, and Reno makes. This, these fans are ready to explode at Reno at any moment. And I've said it before. I'll say it again many times, actually. Oh, what a nice counter move there. And look at this count. Once again, just taking an ample amount of time to get down to make that count is Kurt Heron, the official. 
We were watching the action right in front of the ring. Oh, and then the chop on the inside. Reno may need to turn his attention to his man on the inside who has taken the blood of the punishment for most of this one had it been for real counts by Kurt Herring. I believe he may have a, oh, a better showing, but a great cross body right there and a two kill. Beautiful move from Kevin Weatherby, able to score a two, but Granberry with a little bit more fight left. What a contest between these two. Granberry's looked impressive lately here in SAW, I can tell you that much as we see. Nice power slam. And you see a little confidence starting to build on his side as well. Absolutely. This has been a well-executed match on both sides. It's that that has marred this match. The referee and my Kurt, the refereeing, excuse me, by Kurt Heron. This and that is a man that for a long time has been the dean of officials in SAW in its many incarnations. And he is absolutely sold out here to to call it what it is. Absolutely. As we see that. Wait a minute. Little Preston Webb be up on it. I'm not even sure. If, and once again, the slow count here from Heron allowing. I mean, look at all the people around the ring against Justin Granberry. I'm not even sure if Preston's legally old enough to work right now. Can Reno even W9 this kid for his services? I don't know. You know Reno's other job, right? You know where he. Uh, anyway. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Granberry's going to go oh, up and over, and he landed awkwardly. I think he tried to save himself there coming off that apron, but instead, he landed right at the feet of the man that you called the devil himself a few moments ago, and he's living up to his name. Look oh. out, look out. Oh, no. And right there, you see just throwing Granberry right into that turnbuckle. Reno Riggins relentless on this assault on the outside. Oh, why even with the... Why even go oh, no, no. out? Not on the con... Oh, oh. you're going to end the man's career like that. Did you hear the splat? on the concrete floor. This is unbelievable. Now this is this man's become more than an egotistical maniac. He's become dangerous at this point. And Weatherby but I don't even oh. Obviously, we have a three count there. And look at the face of that man. That's a sick individual, Michael. what to think Michael this is this is not the Kevin Weatherby we know he would not stand for the acts that Rito Riggins has just displayed in front of him and I, I'm not certain how absolutely aware of what happened Kevin Weatherby was but he certainly has taken advantage of the situation and he certainly has thrown his hat in the ring with Reno Riggins Uncle Reno and I'm sure that's a picture right there that the Weatherby family, Weatherby family, uh, does not enjoy seeing on their television. What is going through the mind of T.J. Weatherby right now as the father watches his two young sons? Back with more SAW right after this. We are a cut above the rest. Southern All-Star Wrestling, every Friday night, 8 p.m. bell time, Sawmill Arena, Millersville, Tennessee, located at 1214B, Louisville Highway. Call the hotline for more info at 664-2388. Fan-friendly family fun, every Friday night. Log on to southernallstar.com. One just a minute, Jason James was Kurt Herring's arm broke on that three count. Oh, wait a minute. What was that? Here's a cover. One more time. What is Kurt Herring doing? And once again, a slower count than. Oh, no. I haven't seen anybody count that slow since Frank Hungwell Morrell. There you go, boy. Now. Show him what it's worth when you know that he's count three. Maybe you hit him hard enough that when he wakes up, he'll get a three count. Hold on just a minute, Jason James. Did you see that? Well, once again, a splash into the turnbuckle has sent, excuse me, out in a powerbomb from Bordell. A powerbomb, and we've got a new champion, Nick. we got a wall. Wait a minute, who's that? Doug Markham into the ring, but no, not enough time. He had him for the hook. He had him for 10 seconds, Nick. We had a new champion right there. There was one shot right out the window. You're exactly right, Jason James. You could have counted to 15 before Doug Markham hit the ring and counted to two. 
Well, due to the underhanded tactics, who I've got to believe, speculation leads to believe Reno Riggins, we now have a third official in this contest, and you got to be kidding me. Spinning, I don't know, spinning neck breaker, spinning DDT, whatever you want to call it, out goes the third referee. We've got three runs down. We've got mayhem in the middle. We've got, I don't know, we can count to 41 if you want to say right here, Jason James. There. The, the numbers game, the odds, whatever you want to say, however you want to call it. He has beat this man three times. Who is this, Jason James? Who is this right here? Well, I don't know. Another official into the ring. And what in the world? Reno Riggins on the outside. And Reno's, Reno's giving orders from the outside. What in the world is this? DDT. That's the fastest count. Wait just a minute, Jason James. Who is that referee? I don't know who the ref is, but I sure know who Reno Riggins is. And you caught it when Kurt Heard hit the ring, the RR Corporation, with their hand in the pie. Adrian Longoria along with Vordell Walker. Vordell, what a night. What a night. You know, if I, when I think back to 2011, when I won the Saw International Heavyweight Championship, that was a monumental moment in my career. And I carried that title with pride. Reno Riggins, two months ago, you cost me that Saw International title. Tonight, I had the chance to make history again and become the NWA National Champion. Tonight, I had a match with Damian Wayne for that very title. And what happened again? Reno Riggins, you stuck your nose in my match once again. Now, I know I don't have power to make matches, but I can guarantee you this. Mike Searcy has my back on this, and Mike Searcy's going to make sure that justice is served. Reno Riggins, your day is coming very soon, and Damian Wayne, you better believe, coming real soon, you're going to see me again across the ring for you, and it's going to be for that national title. You can guarantee that. Hot Rod Biggs in the ring awaiting his opponent. This is a young man that has made some hay here in SAW in recent days, in recent weeks. I still can't get the ringing out of my ears, Michael, from that whistle. What? Deafening. What? Yeah. There you see him, Johnny Bandana. And like you said, like you said, he has been uh, very impressive in recent weeks here in SAW in his bout with the headliner Chris Michaels coming up very, very, very close to almost capturing that television championship on numerous occasions. And Johnny Bandana right now, you see it, he's locking up with Hot Rod Biggs, this man, dirty, nasty individual. Better boy. Has forgotten more about has forgotten more dirty tricks than most people ever know. Absolutely. So Johnny Bandana has to be on his guard here. I will say, just from the look on Johnny Bandana's face, walking down the ramp here, he looks confident and he better be careful. Absolutely. You know, most people keep tricks up their sleeve. Hot Rod's had so many, he's got to keep them in his pant leg. I don't think Hot Rod has worn sleeves since 1984. I don't think he's showered since 1984. Look at that. Nice drop tire. <laughs> As uh, Johnny Bandana eventually up into the headlock now. And Hot Rod Biggs. Trying to get back to his feet here. Well, obviously the power advantage is in the favor of Hot Rod. And a couple shots to the midsection. Going to back him into the ropes right there. Shoots him off. But Johnny Bandana too quick. Dunk of the clothesline in the second. And right there oh. the crossbody. And here's the cover. One, two. No, a two count. Speed and agility in the side of Bandana, but power and strength goes to Hot Rod. It's going to make for an interesting mix-up here. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Hot Rod may be bleeding after that last bit of offense, and I hope Johnny Bandana isn't after that, as he looked like he found the ring post behind the turnbuckle there. Yeah, Hot Rod does look like he has a some kind of contusion on his forehead. Some sort may have caught the poster. Not sure. Oh, look. Oh, again. 
No padding. No padding. What's up? Uh, very, very, like I said, vicious, brutal, nasty individual. He will bust you up and beat you up. He's not pretty. He's not. He's very methodical, though. You think? Not pretty, really? Well. Johnny Bandana with a couple of shots after the chops to the back and then to the chest by Hot Rod Biggs. And now, oh, he'll meet him as oh, he tries to minute. fall into the ring. He's got him hung up there. Oh, look out. Look out. That was that was a shot right there. Well, Bandana suspended on that middle rope, and that allows Hot Rod to deliver that. Look, no, feet on the ropes. DDT, and that was almost. Oh. Almost an, an end for Johnny Bandana. That close. That referee, our referee had no clue that those feet were on the ropes and had Johnny Bandana not found it. Hot Rod is trying to start his own shed. It's very distracting, ladies and gentlemen. But had Bandana not been able to kick out there, I believe that would have been three. Wait a minute now. Bandana with a burst of energy. Way up for that drop kick. And he threw it in a phone booth. Here's a cover. One, two, and a two count only. Did you see Bandana fold the body of Hot Rod, get those legs away from the ropes? That way there was no chance of a rope break there. Bandana, one of, definitely one of his uh, oh most positive traits is his resilience. You can see here just a few moments ago, he was down and out, took a vicious DDT. Now it is all Bandana. Look out! Followed Hot Rod Biggs into the ropes there and delivered a nice high back heel to the face. Now we'll go for the cover. Two count only. Only a two count Hot Rod back up. Goes for that wild clothesline. Nobody home. There he is. Oh, look out. Talk about folding him up. Never. You can forget about wow. the of 50. Wow, what a maneuver. maneuver. I can't even speak. Take a look. And a soul rewind of this. He calls it the flatliner. My goodness, how did he plant Hot Rod's face? And out of nowhere, absolutely out of nowhere, and Hot Rod Big's body twisted in 14 different ways as he hits the mat, and that is all. Johnny Bandana, a winner here tonight on NWA SAW, and we'll be back with more. We are a cut above the rest. thought you might have what it takes to be a professional wrestler? If so, Middle Tennessee, you finally have a qualified professional to teach you everything you need to know. I'm Wolfie D, and I have over 22 years experience inside the squared circle, and I've worked for all the major companies. Whether you're a beginner looking to get started or an indie wrestler looking to step up your game, I can and I will give you the tools to succeed. So don't look back one day and say, I could have been. Make your dreams a reality at Wolfie D's House of Champions. Facebook all week, Twitter all week. Mike Cersei delivered an envelope to Reno Riggins. It had a statement in it that left Reno Riggins in shambles. Now, I could not personally find Reno Riggins myself. So what I went out and done is I went out and I found the next best thing. I found NWA board member. I found Mike Cersei. Good to see you back. Y'all make a little noise for NWA board member Mike Cersei. Right on, right on. Wow, wow, wow. It's an honor. It's a privilege as always, Mr. Cersei. I've got a hundred, a hundred and one questions just for you. But first off and foremost, hey man, it's good to see you back, Mr. Cersei. How's your health? You know. I've had a, a rough eight weeks after the heart attack, but Lord willing, and the doctors at St. Thomas, I'm still alive and kicking, and I'm doing better. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Now, Mike Cersei, two weeks ago, everybody at home seen it. 
you delivered a package to none other than the chairman, Reno Riggins. It was a big envelope, and it made one man very, very, very upset. So, Mike, let me start out these questions with this one right here. From the fans to you, Mr. Cersei, what's in that envelope? Hey, what's up? You want to know what was in that envelope? It was paperwork from, from the attorneys that were all involved when we first started this venture between all three companies, being SAW, Southern All-Star Wrestling, Southern... Hang on, my breath's about gone. Well, I got you there, boss. So what you're saying, it was a merged venture between Showtime All-Star Wrestling, NWA National Wrestling Alliance, and good old-fashioned Millersville, Tennessee, Southern All-Star Wrestling. You were saying it was a venture when y'all first started out. You're exactly correct, Nick. It was a venture, and all three companies agreed that Reno Riggins would have 51% ownership at that time. Since then, a lot has happened, and Southern All-Star Wrestling and the NWA has removed Reno Riggins. What? Wait, oh, whoa! Wait a minute, Sawmill! So what you're saying, you're saying the man of the hour, the man in power, the man that's fired everybody from you to Brewster no longer has any power. <laughs> you're exactly correct. Because between T.J. Weatherby, myself representing the NWA, we have 66 and two-thirds percent. We call the shots now, not Reno Riggins. So, Mike Cersei, you have pulled the rabbit out of the hat. You and T.J. Weatherby have gotten together. Y'all are running on a 66 percent vote, and Reno Riggins is 33 and a third. So that means your vote, T.J. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You just said that this man has no more authority, no more power. He is out. Come and do the noise segment at this time. None other than Showtime All-Star Wrestling, the owner of the R&R &R Corporation, the man that writes the checks until you heard this announcement. None other than Reno Riggins. From Mike Cersei is unbelievable. He said, you are fired. You have no authority. You are done here in Southern All-Star Wrestling that the vote lays strictly on Mike Cersei and T.J. Weatherby out with the old and out with Uncle Reno. Mike Cersei, I know you've been sick the last few weeks. I know you're probably jacked up on pain pills right now. You're, you're not in your right mind. You're probably OD'd on Pepto-Bismol. But uh, did I just hear you correctly? Did you just say that I've been relieved of my duties, that I am fired? Is that correct? You heard him. Reno? You heard the words exactly correct. Well, right on. Well, Mike, I knew, I knew a long time ago you didn't have any backbone. You're a coward, and I am everything that you wish you could be. So you listen to me, son, and you listen to me good. Nick, if you want to keep your job, you'll hold that microphone still right there. Now, when the agreement was first signed, it was signed between Showtime All-Star Wrestling, the NWA, and Southern All-Star Wrestling, managed by T.J. Weatherby. 
Is that correct? That is correct. And now you are telling the fans and everyone at home watching that the NWA represented by you and Southern All-Star Wrestling represented by T.J. Weatherby have now 66%, the majority vote, yeah. of the joint venture between us three. Yeah. Well, boss man. Well, you don't got to fight. Shut up. You don't got to fight. Here we go. Let him go. <laughs> Mike Cersei, I know, like I said earlier, you're probably jacked up on Delatas, morphine. You know, you, you, you're not in bad health. And I don't want to say things going to get that blood pressure up too high right now. But I want everyone to hear what I have to say because it's very important. Now, with Showtime All-Star Wrestling controlling a third of the joint venture, well, if everyone saw me out here last week, I decided to take under my wing an up-and-coming professional wrestler that I'm going to take to the top. And what is his last name? Oh, you ask. His last name is Kevin Weatherby. Well, let me tell you what, you bunch of idiots. Everyone knows. Well, let me tell you what, you bunch of idiots. Everyone knows. And he has spoke to an attorney about getting his personal affairs in order. So who did he give the power of attorney to? He gave it to Kevin Weatherby, who's under contract with Uncle Reno. What? Wait a minute. I know what that means, boss man. So, Mr. Mike Cersei, I suggest you grab a broom and clean this mess up if you want to keep your job. Next week, your main event for the NWA Television Championship. The headliner Chris Michaels defends against the returning natural Jay Stevens. Chris Michaels, you're carrying a belt. It shouldn't be around your waist. Whenever you hold an NWA television title, you have to be at your very best. Your best is gone. Your best is behind you. See, you look at me, and I'm a three-time NWA world champion. I'm just now in my prime. Chris Michaels, you're just not good enough. That belt belongs around my waist. I'm coming for it. I am not the NWA Television Heavyweight Champion for nothing. I welcome the challenge of Chase Stevens. Come April 19th, Mr. Natural Chase Stevens, let's answer all the questions, all the speculation on who's the better man all these years, Chase Stevens or Chris Michaels. I was the man around here before there was ever a Chase Stevens. So before there was ever a Chase Stevens, there was Chris Michaels. And I'm still here whether you or anybody else likes it or not.
usted o un ser querido ha sido arrestado y está enfrentando cargos criminales, hay un nombre que usted debe conocer. Es el abogado Brian Lee Nash. Casos de migración o criminal. Tomamos acciones ahora para pelear sus derechos de libertad. Si usted enfrenta un caso menor o cargos de felonía, así sea en el Estado o en la Corte Federal, no espere. Lo más pronto que nos involvamos en su caso, tendría mejor éxito. Llama para una consulta gratis al 615-628-7555. And there he is, the man that calls himself the king. Wow, he has his own... Look at this, the king has his own crier. Well, it's loud. he's got a megaphone. I don't think he needs it this loud mouth. I don't know where he came from, but Some men need to be led. Nonetheless, here comes King Shane Williams. And that attack that we saw from this man at the hands... On to Wolfie D, that pile driver through the table, Michael, that could have very well ended the career of Wolfie D. Well, let's talk about how he executed, how he got to the position that he got. I mean, he was because he's a fraud. Guy. He's a fraud. I, how do you how do you justify a man a man that calls himself king showing up in rags? I guess Prince and the Pauper comes to mind, something along those lines, but. Um, and for what? And for what? Why did Why did King Shane Williams interfere in that match? Because jealousy. Uh, come on. And now walking around. And if you watched as he came down past us here, he was saying on the mic he didn't think Wolf D was even here in the building. Well, he is wrong about that. I can and guarantee you, Michael. Because the Wolf is on the hunt tonight. He's on the prowl, and he's got King Shane Williams in his sights. A chilling atmosphere has just surrounded us here at the Sawmill. Listen to the reception. strains of the band known as the Notion and the cheers of everyone in the sawmill. Wolfie D makes his return to NWA SAW and he has eyes on the King Shane Williams and why not? And you can see him tell King Shane Williams, I am here. I am definitely in the building. I mean, can you can you think the last, man, the last time Wolfie D laid eyes on this man? He had just been defeated for the world championship. I mean, coming into this contest when you're Wolfie D, you've got all that built-up animosity, and you're ready just to, to let loose and let it out, Michael. And Wolfie has been essentially on the shelf since that pile driver, since that night. I understand he has gotten into a ring in the Mid-South a couple times as a warm-up to this one. He is ready for this one. Wolfie D is not walking into this rusty, and Wolfie D is walking into this one a very angry man. This has nothing to do with positioning. This has nothing to do with with a championship. This has everything to do, everything to do with revenge and with retribution and uh We're being joined oh, now by Nick Nitros. Wow, man, wow. Great to see you. Great to see you, Jason James, Michael Graham. Here we are. What a matchup right here. Couldn't keep here. you in the back. No, no, man, no. I, no. I, I, I had back. to get out here close. I got to get my own it. I tell you what, King Shane William, Wolfie D, the Royal Hunt has begun. Ten Tucky Tavern, located at 6660 Highway 431 North in Springfield, Tennessee. Right on the Kentucky Tennessee state line. Open at noon, 365 days a year. Now featuring the Ten Tucky Bikini Dancers. It's a great place to visit, relax, and enjoy an ice cold beer. Come say hi to Sheila Haley today. That's the way it was advertised across Facebook and Twitter all week long. Oh, look out. Look out. We're underway here. Make sure you are checking out everything SAW and everything Sawville on Facebook as we get in on this one. As Wolfie D is looking for Shane Williams. He is missing with a couple of wild lefts. Shane Williams is connected with some jabs. Oh, 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 but he runs right to a couple of big, tall 
goes from the wolf and down hard goes the kid. What a choke power bomb by Wolf and Dave. Jason James, did you see that? Well, I'm seeing it right here in ringside action here at the Sawmill in Millersville. You're watching a man right now get a shot at redemption, a shot at revenge against a man who cost him possibly the biggest milestone in his career. Up, over, goes King Shane Williams. Oh. He wanted to make his way from pillar to post and Wolfie had it scouted, met him halfway, and down to the concrete floor goes Shane Williams. Well, I'll tell you what, Michael Graham, let's get a boom in the dustpan. I'll go over and pick Shane Williams. Take the bunch of dice. Shane Williams is definitely, oh, here we go. You're not going to have time because Wolfie D's going to beat you to the punch already. As he grabs a handful of hair of the King Shane Williams and a right hand delivered square to the jaw of King Shane Williams. And right in front of us here, and right in front of our fans in the front row, oh, and hard into that ring post now goes the cranium of Shane Williams. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, it is wild on TV. It is wilder in person. Get to Millersville, Tennessee. This is it. It's oozing out right now. You can see it. Weeks and weeks this frustration's been building in Wolfie, and it's it's coming out right now. And look, Shane Williams wants no part of it. There is just anger right now, Nick Nitros. There is literally anger, it feels like, coming from the pores of Wolfie D. It's radiating off. Well, right what now. do you know, man? Shane Williams dressing up like I don't know somebody out of the crowd. Here's Wolfie D. Dizzy from behind for the most dangerous move in the sport today. A pile driver. Oh, oh. Oh. The official has just been Brian Erlacher right in front of us. My goodness. What a tackle to the referee, Doug Markham. I don't think there was any intent on either wrestler there to take out the referee. Wolfie D with a push wow. on Shane Williams, who is holding his shoulder funny now. As Wolfie D takes a look at the referee. And obviously unintentional on the part of Wolfie D. Has, you can see the concern already. That's my call on that one. From our vantage point, Shane Williams. Wait a minute. What is he doing? I believe he's got a handful of powder right Look there. Out. A shot right there. What is in his hand? That was, was a loud fist of some sort. I don't know. I dropped something into his hand. Look out, Wolf. Look out, Wolf. Hard into the cage. And from my point of view, Michael Graham, Wolf is dangerous. They the better side of that cage. From a high kick to the back of the head. That's what I can see. Still not aware of what Shane Williams is up to as a right hand a moment ago. He's got his back. Now, again, I see, I see power. Some now. kind of white substance coming out. You see it right there. It's, Our rep now it's as visible to... as... Oh, now, come on. What is this now? You can see... Son, now, it's just a matter of time. Our referee is still trying to gather himself. And this crowd, this crowd seems... They seem not stunned and not surprised. We are. They, they almost as though they were waiting for Shane Williams to pull something off like this. You're exactly right, Michael Graham. It looks like Mato Flim Flam about to happen. King Shane Williams. Well, Shane is. He's done. He's done the damage and disposed of the evidence. A cover now after the neck breaker and a shoulder comes off the mat. Shane Williams did not expect that shoulder to come up, Nick. He thought he had it. You're right, Michael Graham, with the pure willpower of Wolfie D. Will not be denied. Wolfie D getting a little payback from Shane Williams jumping a few weeks back. Interfering here, interfering there, but you see right here, Wolfie D looking for some redemption, son. I'm looking for some energy from somewhere for a moment. He was getting that wild eye, and then you can see he just did not have any well, gas in the tank. He is taking a couple of big shots to that cage and from the king in this one, and here comes another oh, right hand, and that one was right. right on the mark. Talk about a target being set right there, and another one takes Wolfie D down to the canvas, and Shane Williams on complete. Complete offensive already. Wolfie D now. Goodness. Babies. That right Wolfie hand. D, yeah, Wolfie D maybe. Wait a minute now. A couple times Williams wanted to bring him up and over. And instead, it's Wolfie D that pulls off a big vertical suplex, Nick. You're exactly right, Michael Graham. He grabs Shane out of nowhere. Big suplex. Looks like both men are down trying to regain. But it was clear. I don't know where you were standing. That was a handful of powder strength of Wolfie D's face. Right hand right there. That was definitely the turning point in this one. But Wolfie D has now turned the momentum back in his favor until a big back elbow from the king at least to a cover and a two count.
Southern All-Star Wrestling every Friday night, 8 p.m. bell time, Sawmill Arena, Millersville, Tennessee, located at 1214B Louisville Highway. Call the hotline for more info at 664-2388. Fan-friendly family fun every Friday night. Log on to southernallstar.com. The man that cost Ruthie D the NWA World Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not the NWA SAW Southern Championship. We're not talking about a television championship. We're not talking about a regional championship. A world championship. That is why Wolfie D hit this ring as angry as he was. A once in a lifetime opportunity that went by the boards thanks to his opponent. Think of the history when you talk about that championship. Flair, Rose, Funk, Briscoe, the list goes on and on, and Wolfie D had his opportunity to be on that same list with those greats that have held that championship, and this man took it away from him. Stole it. Stole it. And for what, Nick? For what? Well, I don't know about for what, but it wasn't just a stole or steal or have you all put it. It was a coronation. The king right now still calls himself minute. the king. Wait a minute. Goes for the back He's got right. him over. He's looking for the no. King is able to stay out of it, but he can't stay out of that right hand. But he can't stay away from that one either. But Wolfie D now on his knees throwing rights at the king there for a moment. Well, the fatigue may have already set in as Wolfie was only able to hook one arm in that back slide. Gets him up for the scoop slam. Look out. Oh, Nobody holds it. Nobody home. Shane Williams telegraphed the elbow, able to get out of the way in the nick of time. And once again, if this man can capitalize, wait a minute. Right in front of us here now, Williams is going to work on the turnbuckle. Oh, look at him just rip the turnbuckle off. He just, wait a minute. Isn't there a charge? Isn't that vandalism? Well, King, uh, excuse me, I, he thinks he's King Uncle Reno. Oh! oh! Wolfie D sent spine first. Right into that exposed steel. I have no doubt Uncle Reno will take care of any cost that it takes to put down a man. And don't forget, Reno has his hands in everybody's pie right now, Nick Nitro. So there's no doubt that that belt was right where he wanted it to be when it was around the waist of Shane Williams. You're exactly right, Michael Graham. You don't really get no argument out of me. But well, it looks like Uncle Reno. He's still in the room. Well, well, I mean, it, his, his, his fangs may be showing right here. now, a third time after the big howl here in the sawmill, Whoopi D is Wait on fire. Jason James, he's gonna do it, Jason James, he's gonna do it, Michael Graham, what? He's fighting him, he's fighting him, Whoopi D, the signature bite. I told you, let me be the first to say it. Whoopi D do what he does best. The Wolfpack is howling along with him here at the sawmill as well. Shane Williams is howling in a much different way. He's howling in pain right now. Once again into that exposed steel, but to the opposite side as oh, no. Williams able to get that boot up. Catches Wolfie D right in the chin, and Wolfie as a result directly down to the canvas. Shane Williams may have used powder earlier in this one. Shane Williams may have used some shortcuts, but let's not take anything away from him as a wrestler. That was a fantastic move right there, and this could be another as he goes to the top. Looking for a big right hand. Look out, look out. Oh, he nails it. And we've seen that before, Michael Graham. We've seen that. Before. And we've seen that one matches before as well. Shane Williams slow to the cover here and not looking for a cover, Jason. No, driving that fist right into the sternum and pulls we'll be back to the vertical and right there. That, it's, oh! oh! Out of the way goes first. He's up. He's up in that torture rack position. Shane Williams is down and hard and he could be out. Whoopi's we'll gonna get the cover. He's got a roll, got a hook the leg. This could be it, Michael. Could we have it? No! Give Shane Williams a ton of credit for being able to get a shoulder off the mat before three. You would have owned my house on that one, Michael. I would have bet the world that Wolfie D had it one, two, three in the books and on the record sheet. But no, Shane Williams, the resiliency. you got to give him credit like you said. And now Wolfie D's got to be thinking, what is it going to take to keep this man down? The man that put Wolfie D on the shelf. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we are not talking about first contender ship here. We're not talking about a belt. We are talking about straight revenge on the mind of Wolfie D. Oh, but right there it's Shane
Ray Williams with the big clubbing goal. Oh, no, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. We've seen oh, it. Oh, oh, the most dangerous move in the sport today should be banned. You've seen it. The pile driver. Off and on, it has wait been a banned. If Williams gets the cover, cover no, you got to be kidding me. No. What in the world? Boy, the Rufy D must drop the strike and kick out of that one, Jason James. No. And you hear the crowd, Michael Bones. And the crowd's heart just started again after that pile driver. That's exactly what happened. This place was scared to death. Remember, as I was just saying, Wolfie D just spent time on the shelf after a pile driver by that man on a table in that corner that he's right now arguing with our referee. You're exactly right, Michael Graham. You're exactly right. What is, what's King Shane doing now? Wait a minute. Williams Wait a minute. back to the outside and he's, he's looking underneath the ring now. What's he looking for here? Oh, oh no. no. A steel chair. Wolfie D also in that match tasted a steel chair, not at the hands of Shane Williams, it must be said. Well, uh, Shane Williams is looking to... Oh, oh and then it's Shane Williams once again, the referee. Once again, shoving the, uh, shoving the official in. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Yeah, we do not need a ball driver on a chair here. Obviously, Shane Williams is not thinking about a one, two, three. He's thinking about ending the career. We need security out here. This is career ending moves. This should not be happening right now. Oh, yeah. oh, I believe maybe Shane Williams' forehead might have bounced off that chair as he bounced off the mat after the backdrop by Wolfie D. And now Wolfie D's got him back up. Back up in that position. Torture rack, torture rack. And oh, 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 on the chair, on the chair. That Shane Williams had that. The referee's going to count. And it's a three. Because we are so a cut above the rain.